102.9 W4 Country and Lady. It's Brett Young. Good morning. 738, the Breakfast with Bubba Show with Bubba and Madison Rally. Good morning. We have Brian Walsh with the forecast. Sunny with highs into the upper 80s. Not too shabby. Dr. Marty is here, and uh, we're getting ready for the Monday morning jump start. Oh. We got a little echo. We're good. Pick that up. We're good. That was on our end, Dr. Marty. Sounds, Sounds good. You sound good. <laughs> hey. <laughs> good when it works out. What are we talking about today? We're going to talk about anger. Ooh. Anger. It's like our culture is trying to um, create anger in us and train anger in us. We're becoming very angry. We got to understand what it is and what we can do about it because anger can get us in trouble. And I've always said this, and our audience excluded, mm -hmm. but Ann Arbor is like the angriest city in the world. Mm, I'd love to comment, but I better not. <laughs> Um, Everybody's it, angry it, here. It, it, it's it, you know it's kind of all over, but yeah, you know, I, I mean, there there are reasons behind that. But um, Lisa, one of your listeners, suggested this, um, and so I wanted to do it. So I wanted Very to give cool. a little shout out. All We're right. on uh, W4 TV right now. We are Facebook.com slash W4 Country or YouTube.com slash W4 Country. Let's chat off the air as well. Like Shelton, I'll name the dogs. One hundred two point nine W4 Country. All right. Do, 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 do. Pause that. Good morning, everybody. We've got Peter and Stacy and James and Beverly. Good morning, everybody. And Julie. Just like Delta One on the 767, though. You need to get the seat that is closer to the window where the table is on the aisle side. Did everybody catch that? I'm so glad we're here with you to talk to text. Mm -hmm. If not, your oh, ass for is heaven's sake, on put the your phone away. You are sleeping. <laughs> Marty, do you have Vaseline on your camera this morning? What? It's very, uh, I don't know. It's oh, shit. Why is it worse? I just made it worse. Um, I don't you know. know. That's, uh, no, we don't use Vaseline in this house. I don't even know what it was created for, really. It's a little foggy. It's actually better now. I had to buy Vaseline to put it on McKenna's butt. Oh, that sounds like a fun task. <laughs> <laughs> it got so irritated with her uh, GI lymphoma. I had to put Vaseline on uh, There's. I thought there's different stuff that's better. And My vet said there's different stuff that's better, and they gave me some of that. So now I have this little thing of Vaseline. I don't know what the hell do we didn't people use it like to grease back their hair like in the 50s or something? Like slick really? it back? Grease back your hair? I, I think so. Yeah, I've heard if that you, before. Or, or lard if you were poor. Oh, wouldn't that melt then and run down your face? Oh, yeah. 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 They, they, my mom told me because they were poor and they knew poor people. So they, um, they some guys would slick it back with lard. Wow. And on a real hot day, you know, out there, you probably fry an egg on your head, right? Get flies all swarming around. Oh. Your head. <laughs> How attractive. Hey, I got a Unadilla shirt, though. Um, my friend Will gave it to me. So shout out to Unadilla, one of my favorite cities, Unadilla. <laughs> Una dia. One dilla. Are they uh are they uh less angry than Ann Arbor? Um probably you know, it seems like it'd be like Green Acres or something there. I don't know many of the people, but it's a nice little, little I place. Tell you, when you read like the listener feedback email from our sister station, which is like just totally Ann oh, Arbor focused. All angry crazy all the angry, time. Like crazy people listen to that station. <sighs> Mad about everything. They're just so angry. Well, some of the people that are on the station, really. Well, there's a, all this oh, rage. <laughs> Good. 102.9 W4 Country, and I'll name the dogs. It's Blake Shelton, 742. It's time for the Monday morning jump start with Dr. Marty. You could join us uh, off air at uh, facebook.com slash W4 Country or youtube.com slash W4 Country. It's W4 TV, and we love uh, chatting. You get to hear uh, we're bashing our sister station right now. I am. If you're listening on, on, on yeah, I won't on have anything line, yeah. to do with that. Um, we're talking about anger, Marty. Where we, I, mean, I imagine you have uh, five, five, 
five tips and a bonus for I do. I have five tips and a bonus. Let's um, dig right into it. Is this about controlling anger? Or? Uh, wh wh how to understand it and what to do about it. So, yeah, that's part okay. of it. But first, we got to understand what it is. So, what is anger? I mean, it's a threat emotion. And right now, we're getting so many. I mean, the media model, for instance, is to you know show you threats. And here's how bad the world is. And here's how bad your neighbor is. And so, what happens when we perceive a threat? We just have to perceive it. It doesn't have to be a real threat because we have few real threats. So, what we want to do is this. Understand it's a physiologic event and you know that because you feel it if you feel it it's in your body right I mean, you have stress hormones and things like that what really helps is this be resilient tip number one train calm that means train calm every day that means do things don't, don't get sleep all the things that we talk about on this show right how to take care of yourself because the goal is to be peaceful anger is going to interfere with that uh it Anger can increase heart attacks by up to 9%. It's really dangerous stuff. Take it seriously. And, um, you know, meditation works, prayer works, uh, exercise actually works. Uh, you know, you calm your, um, you, you calm your mind by stressing your body, but just find a plan to train calm moment by moment and every single day and um, start at a place of peace. What's more important, sleep or exercise? If I had to choose one, it would be um, sleep because if you're not getting the <laughs> well, look, they're both important and, and it's reciprocal because exercise can help to promote sleep. But if I just had to choose one because you asked me to, I'd say the biggest payoff is going to be getting your sleep under control. But that may um, include activity levels, though, so it's hard to tease them out. All right, more with Dr. Marty coming up. We're talking about anger this morning. Grr, join us live. Facebook.com slash W4Country <laughs> or YouTube.com slash W4Country. That's what it is. It's anger. Grr. Mm -hmm. Traffic now, what do you got? A little heavier on, uh, looks like heavier. right Eager. Looks a little heavier on US 12, right around 23, and between uh, 94 and Wired Road. Uh, 94 running smoothly, though, and so is 23. The problem is really on 275 northbound through the construction. Starting around here on road, it's very slow moving, and then uh, some heavier traffic all the way up, almost to 94. On the southbound side, you're going to see some slow traffic through uh, 94, and then just heavier off and on down through Sibley Road. If you have a tip for us, 734-623-1029. Traffic is sponsored by Audible, and that's the latest from the W4 Country Traffic Center. If you've ever thought about joining a country club, but you want an area, a, cl a club that's relaxed and warm and friendly and family-oriented, you want Polo Fields Golf and Country Club. It's where the three of us belong. And let me tell you, they offer a variety of flexible membership options for golfers and non-golfers alike, and they're really suitable for every single budget. They offer so much. That jam-packed 2021-2022 social calendar, that pool is amazing. It's along with the, the hot tub out there. Yeah, it's all resort style. And uh, that brand new patio is just beautiful. It overlooks their championship golf course. If you're a golfer, they've got a ton of practice options for you, uh, including that state of the art golf simulator. You can keep your swing sharp all year round and golf lessons for all levels as well. Plus the uh, fully stocked golf shop with PGA professionals there for you as well, including custom fitting. You can get all kinds of stuff there at that golf shop. Go check it out. Absolutely. Go to polofieldccmi.com for more information. That's polofieldccmi.com. All right. Thanks, Lisa. What did Lisa say? She likes my hat. She's going incognito today. Matt Ryan wants to know about the kin. He wants to know about what? <laughs> the kin. Um, I'm. Uh, I still have some kin. Um, I. I, oh, I do like drink. Yeah, that was a really expensive drink, and it's pretty good, but it is a little pricey. Um, I, I. I'm. I've been doing other things. Um, in tablet form, like I'm. Uh, mushroom not psilocybin but you know legal mushrooms. I'm finding that I get some positive, same similar effects from, um, the mushrooms that I'm using. Wait a minute. Wait, not what? the illegal ones. Yeah. Not the illegal <laughs> ones. <laughs> these are all legal. So you just like saute mushrooms and no, no, these are in tablet forms. They're they're. I'll I'll I'll, I'll let you try some if you want to. But they, they, some weird stuff. I know. I'm like a psychonaut. I want to see what these things do. <laughs> Promote health. Uh, and also, there's someone Peter's from um, Unadilla. Unadilla. All right. <laughs> Holla. Peter, when are we selling your house? I need something to keep me busy. When are we selling your mom's house? I'm ready to go. 
does she know she's selling her house or is this <laughs> mom, <yeah. laughs> surreptitiously <Good> questions <laughs> yeah mom you gotta move Ah, oh, you know what? They rezoned it, and uh, they're gonna, they're gonna <laughs> tear it down for a freeway. So, I think mom needs to move before Peter. Peter's got a gorgeous house, though. If you ever want to live, live in, now I want to call it Unadia. Sounds um, more sophisticated, I think. I took a real estate client out there, and she said, "I'm real excited about Unadilla." <laughs> <laughs> well, close enough. <laughs> that was the oddest real estate client we pulled into she asked me to pull into a gas station and she wanted to pick up feeder carrots to feed the deer on real estate showings i'm like nope that's not really gonna work mm. we're just gonna see homes <laughs> yeah that's great <laughs> i'm not taking you out in the woods to yeah i'm not dr doolittle here i'm to feed deer Can you see that happening? What? Can you just imagine it? I can see Bubba trying to wave a carrot around going, here, dear. Here, dear. <laughs> here, dear. <laughs> it's not working. Whistling. <laughs> come here, dear. Oh, come here, dear. Oh, come here. Oh, come here. Then realizing that they're awfully big animals when they get close. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez. All right, who has stuff off the air here? Well, you can uh, get us on any number of apps. Including the W4 Country app. You guys, do you promote that a lot? That app? We did it one point. Yeah. A decent amount. I didn't know about that. Who's asking? If corporate's asking, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All the time. There's a promo that runs for it, isn't there? Yeah, there is. I don't know about this hat. It's starting to bug me now. My hair is bugging me. Mm -hmm. I'm just so sick of washing my hair. What's your hat say? Uh, Nash smash. Smash. Yeah. That's that's. Nash. I'd be careful of that. You know what that means to the kids. It's a Nash brand. Did you say smash? Yes. Okay. A brand from Nashville. You know what smash means, though. Is that something we so can the, talk about right now, Marty? No. Tell me something weird. It's a uh, parcheesi. Whoa. Smash? Yeah. yeah. Let me yeah. smash. So, that, so yeah. uh, you don't want people to read that the wrong way. It's not um, a request. It's, it's, it's a, a smash. I'm taking my head off. So you can <laughs> Twenty seconds back. Good morning, Troy. Good morning, Stacy. We're up to 62 people watching, but nobody's talking. I know. Everybody's tired. Including it's Monday. Yeah, right. It's the problem. <clears throat> 102.9 W4 Country. Travis Denning after a few. 751 and the Monday morning jumpstart is underway. We're talking about uh, anger and how to manage it. Uh, point number one is train calm. What's point number two, Marty? Uh, accept reality. So what's happening when we're angry, uh, reality is given to us. It just occurs. And um, when we fight against that reality with the idea of like, I can't stand this, this is, uh, uh, this, you know, I can't tolerate this sort of thing, then anger comes up. But um, you have to just, you're going to accept reality eventually anyway. Like how much anger do you want to go through before that? But you have to accept that, you know, people disagree with you, for instance, or um, it doesn't go, the traffic isn't flowing the way that you would want it to flow. Um, Boy, that makes me angry. Mm -hmm. I get I'm angry saying. in traffic. We yes, all witnessed that's correct. That. Yeah, like, so we have mm -hmm. going down Baker Road. If you ever want, I hate Baker Road. Your blood pressure it's my to least just favorite right. road because you'll always have one person doing forty when it's supposed to be fifty, mm -hmm. and they hold everybody up, and you can't pass. So mm -hmm. twenty-five or thirty. Right. I just lay on my horn. 
How does that work? Does it help? Well, no, it raises no, it my just blood raises, pressure. Yeah. Makes me... mm, and there's two. So now we've just uh, multiplied the anger because right. it's contagious. It's More respect for Marty. Oh, I hope it was contagious. I hope I made that. Oh, my go, gosh. Go, 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 go. <laughs> my, that was my goal to, to pass right, along the anger. on their radar. So That's number five. five. W4 country. All right. We'll get to that in tip number five. I think that's the problem, uh -huh. though, right? Like people, people that never, it's never taken the way you think it's going to be or you want it to be. What the horn? I think so. Well, I, unless you use the quick toot, you know, then it's going to be uh, aggressive. A friendly you know? little tap of the horn. Just mm -hmm. a, a toot. Do you guys have that in driver's ed? A friendly little tap of the horn. No, I don't I think, think so. I think so. My driver's ed instructor was named Mr. Geiger. He was from uh, originally from some Eastern European country. And he would tell us that you have to trump on the brake. Oh. That sounds like a, a authority there. I would do it. So my driver's training instructor is in prison for murder. Really? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. But was it was it vehicular? Uh, no, it was a gun it was um he oh. uh it happened in chelsea when people may know it i don't think i should mention his name but it's public oh um, yeah he was cool too he turned me on to rem um that first rem album i first He's heard cool it until him. he killed people well yeah you never right. know there's a dark side i guess to that guy right um there's some other issues going on with him too so. there's a happy topic there <laughs> for, for your Monday morning jump start, make you feel good. Yay. I don't think I've ever known a murderer. You may have, though. We don't know. They just haven't confessed or been caught. I knew a police officer that shot somebody, but I, that's not. Uh, yeah. I don't think I have either. Most people don't have the stomach to do that. So I'm not surprised you haven't met many. Like you'd think in radio, there'd be some characters that went to jail for murder. Mm. In, what, like the DJ or something? The... Yeah. The, 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 <laughs> it attracts metal <laughs> hands. Yeah, really does. And it just makes it worse. Right. So any comments on anger? No one has any anger problems. Been so quite we have 60 I people know, watching. Nobody's, nobody's commenting anything. anything. So let's shame them into coming up with something. <laughs> shame <laughs> on you. That'll make them angry. Yep. Right. 30 seconds back. You realize I've totally given up this summer. I wear shorts every day. <laughs> It's like totally, why wouldn't you wear shorts it's hot but i've totally given up on like i used to occasionally dress up for work yeah but we don't have to and there's nobody mm -hmm. here yeah why bother like the ceo mm -hmm. of the company says like jeans are okay i right, stand by so, so why would you One hundred two point nine W four country and country again. It's Thomas Rhett. Seven fifty six in your Monday morning jump start with Doctor Marty. We're talking about controlling anger. Number one, uh, train calm. Number two, accept reality. What's point number three? Uh, watch the hypocrisy. The the things that we get angry at other people for are things that we have done or are doing or would have done if we could have gotten away with it. So, um, you know, that will help uh, with empathy and forgiveness, which those are good antidotes to anger. You know so, what makes me mad? Tell it. Hypocrisy. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the biggest things that just makes me well, angry. Then, let, then let's try this. Have you ever uh, engaged in hypocrisy? Yes. 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 Okay. So, you know, <laughs> you're not a monster. So uh, no, no, maybe they're pointed, not. You pointed this out to me, that there's a lot more stuff in the Bible that talks mm -hmm. about don't judge people than there yeah. is about correcting behavior actually uh, uh, there's a lot in there about the judge because it's so it's spiritually uh, anger can kill us spiritually right it, it just it's it's soul killing if we get too much of it in and it also kill your body there you go more mm -hmm. with dr marty coming up in a moment right now mm -hmm. it's madison's turn traffic what do you got 
Oh, you might be a little angry if you're on 275 northbound. It's pretty slow moving through the construction. They're starting around here on road, continuing off and on uh, past Eureka Road. On the southbound side, very slow moving through 94. It actually starts just north of 94 and then continues off and on uh, down through Eureka Road and then pretty heavy still through Huron. Uh, 94, it looks like we have some slowdowns on the westbound side right through 23, um, just a little slower right through there, a little heavier on US 12, right around 23, and between 94 and Wired Road. Uh, 23 running smoothly, though, so is 96. No problems on M14 or M52. If you have a tip for us, 734-623-1029. Traffic is sponsored by Audible, and that's the latest from the W4 Country Traffic Center. I love the new roof on my house that I got from Diversified Roofing. It was time for a replacement. I had a builder's basic roof on there. It was 20 years old, and all kinds of bad stuff was happening. Shingles were uh, loose. I had bats living in it. And uh, thankfully, we got it before there were any leaks. And you may have discovered with the weather last week and the week before, all the rain that we got, gosh, we got three inches of rain on Friday, that uh, you you have a leaking problem. It only gets worse. Get to Diversified Roofing right now. Go to diversifiedroofingllc.com. Click on the link there. You're going to find discount codes. You're going to find coupons. And you're going to find a link to a free estimate that'll get Stan the man out to your house and up on your roof to figure out exactly what's going on. And if you need a repair, no problem. They can do it. You need a replacement. No problem. They can do it as well. Mm-hmm. I have a roof uh, that's warranted for 50 years right now. 50 year shingles from GAF on there, all from Diversified Roofing. The price was amazing. The service was even better. Go to diversifiedroofingllc.com. That's diversifiedroofingllc.com. All right. Did she just bark? Yeah. Did you, did McKenna bark? Yeah. I thought that was you burping. <laughs> no. Hi, McKenna. <laughs> Uh, McKenna's in the studio. She is. Mm-hmm. How's she feeling today? She is feeling good. All right. Feeling great. Look at that, man. She's got her own chair, bed. She's got, got her own little spot. Chair, her own blanket, bowl of water. You're a good girl, McKenna. Hi, McKenna. Hi, McKenna. McKenna. <laughs> She was pissed at me yesterday. It was bath day. McKenna got anger issues. Oops. We were just dark. Oops. Bad DJ. All right. Melissa says, I have a lot of anger with my husband's passing. I've been there. Yeah. I've been with people for dying before. Yeah. I mean, that's a great example because grief is that thing where the thing that you want the most, you can't have. So the reality that's given to you is so painful that uh, often the response is going to be anger. And Chad says, I tend to have some anger at work when I get things thrown on my plate once others mess things up and it becomes my job to fix. That is maddening. Hmm. I need you to fix a couple things, Madison. (laughs) Yes, you do. Lisa says, I have been working on anger and unforgiveness, and it has been really been life changing and has lifted an emotional weight off of me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the anger leads to hatred. And and anger is really there if you think about it. What does it want? Every emotion wants to do something, wants to complete itself. What does anger usually want? Revenge. Yeah, usually wants revenge. We usually want to punish somebody. And hatred, Marty, we know leads to suffering. Yes, absolutely. And plenty of it. That's Yoda said that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did Fear he? leads to anger. <laughs> Did anger he? to hate. And what? hate leads to suffering. Did he really say that? Yeah. Oh, what what movie was that? I know it was a Star Wars. Um, it should have been The Empire Strikes Back. Okay. It's the one that features a lot of Yoda. Okay. Okay. When your dating profile picture is a Neiman Marcus bag, no. Absolutely not. Just putting, putting it right out there. Note that you took earlier and not something you're doing right now. That is not going to attract a successful guy. I want your money. Is that That's what it's exactly saying? what that's saying. It's not saying I have a lot of money to give. Probably it's saying. Like, how is it that? What's that big outlet mall? Of, is it Great Lakes Crossing? Is that the outlet mall? Uh, yeah. Um, like, 
north of us here. Yeah, and they had uh, they have like off Fifth, which was Saks Fifth Avenue, like off you know their their whatever you call it second store. I saw a sweater that I liked in the in the window, and I thought, oh, that's a cool sweater because I like I like old like Cosby Show sweaters. I like really you know, <laughs> like crazy sweaters. <laughs> And I went in there, and this was their outlet. It was six hundred ninety-five dollars. Who spends seven hundred dollars on a sweater? That's like the dumbest thing in the world. That's a lot of money. That's dumb. Yeah. I definitely wouldn't eat a hot dog in that sweater. No, you wouldn't eat anything. I'd be scared to even wear it out. You snag it on something. You snag <laughs> sweaters all the time. Seven hundred dollar. Why? What's it made of? Right. It, it like uh, silk. Angels and then <laughs> I don't know what else. What, what do you yeah, make get, get the angels when they're young? <laughs> right them into before they're full grown wings. Like this is stupid to me. <laughs> that makes me angry that somebody would look at that. Wow, Seven hundred dollars is a good price for a sweater. I don't care how much money I ever made. If I if I made ten million dollars a year, I would never spend seven hundred dollars on a sweater. It just would never happen. Hmm. The most I've spent on a sweater is $70. And that's high. Mm, that's reasonable. Yeah, that seems like what I, more or less what I would expect somewhere mm. in that range. I get mine at Kohl's, and they're usually less than that. But you get off the 80% off rack, right? Well, yeah, if I can find one that fits. All right, stand by. Four minutes after eight o'clock. Good morning. I want to thank you for making us a part of your day. You found the Breakfast with Bubba show with Bubba and Madison Rowley. Good morning. Mostly sunny skies today. Highs in the mid 80s. You're listening to WWWFM Ann Arbor. So very proud to be a Cumulus station. You can watch us right now. W4 TV. We are live at Facebook.com slash W4 Country. YouTube.com slash W4 Country. We're in the middle of the Monday morning jumpstart with Marty on the morning show that makes you feel good. All right. Look who's listening. Who? Watching. Who? Look at your computer screen. Hold on, I need to move this song. This makes me very happy. <laughs> oh, friend. <laughs> what are the maracas I hear in the background? Oh, that that's you can hear that yeah what was that uh it, it was the, i was just putting a note in so i can oh. remember something so oh, I, was. Mm -mm. I may be blind but it's made my hearing more acute sound like maracas huh <laughs> yeah, i don't know if it's made it more accurate <laughs> <laughs> what are you typing over there not a friend Messaging me? that someone put on their Facebook status just heard a radio host say 275 at Huron Road in a traffic update and it irked me. Do some people really just say Huron Road? I always say South Huron Road. Shame on you. So, I mean, just like that's a subtweet, right? Yeah. Just heard a radio host. Well, Feel free to message me, say something, whatever. But no, you and have hey, to call me out, subtweet me like that. Thanks for listening. Yeah, whatever. I'm always going to refer to it as here on road now. <laughs> <laughs> you went about that the wrong way. Oh, my gosh. Aww. Why? I want to see your face. I'm coming to Nashville very soon. I hope that's okay with you. I'm wearing my Nash hat today. Brittany and I need a martini night. <laughs> Michael Powers would like to know how Brian Welch is doing. Oh, I'm doing well, Michael. Thank you. I'm a little sleepy today. Is there a reason he wouldn't be doing well? I don't know. I don't tell you everything. <laughs> it's usually better that way. 
So can you guys squeeze into one suitcase or do you need two full check suitcases? Uh, I think probably one. Because if you can do one, I can check your bag to Chicago. I get two free bags. Mm -hmm. And you won't have to pay any luggage. And then on the international, it's all free. Hmm. So okay. like one big suitcase and then two carry-ons? Yeah, all right. I don't like you having control of my suitcase. How, I'm, on the same, <laughs> huh? I'm on the same plane yeah, as you. Yeah, I don't know. It's just weird. You can literally walk to the counter with me and we'll give it to them together. It's just weird. Why is that weird? It's just weird. It's just a Chicago. It's weird. You can pay the $35 if you want to. What's the difference? For peace of mind. It yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's a weird phobia. Having someone else in control of my luggage? How is it in control when you walk up to the counter with me, you hand it to the airline, who is then in control of your luggage, uh, and then we go to baggage claim it's together It's got your Chicago. name on it. I don't like it. Oh, my God. I don't trust it. <laughs> because it's got my name, it's free. Yeah. Thank you so much, Donna. Donna Rochetti. Ooh, boy, I bet you could teach us some Italian lessons. What's Davide's last name? He's got a... I, I mean, it's a Davide wasn't Italian enough. What is it? She's afraid you'll see what's inside. I'm not going to open my her suitcase. bag. No, I'm just trying to save her $35. Mm. Says the guy who always opens strangers' medicine cabinets when he's at their place. Right. I do. I want to know what's going on. <laughs> Bubba has addressed it, I guess. Davide Del Grossi. That's an Italian name. Mm, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? We'll see how our honeymoon goes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting anxiety about all of this now. <sighs> Thanks, hmm. Greg. <laughs> they really do. And you discover how much people have to stick up their butt when you do something like this job. Right. Like, it's just so weird to me. And you know what? Like, about. just say something. Why do you have to, like, go behind my back and, like, publish <laughs> Tweet it? it? Right. That's so stupid. That's so dumb. Listen, I'll pack whatever I want to pack. It's one of my very best okay. friends. It's okay. <laughs> like you're being rude to a listener, Madison. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kristen. Kristen loves the hat. She loves here on road and she loves checking her own. <laughs> I'm paying the $35. <laughs> <laughs> Kristen and I are soul sisters, I think. You can pay $35 and you can stand in the, Plus, we in the regular know line. know very, very well what it's like to deal with you. Or you could get it for free and get <laughs> we have like a, nobody in front of you. We have such a bond over the behind the scenes with Whatever. Bubba. <laughs> it, I, I get the special line where nobody's even in front of me. But feel free, stand in line and pay $35. What's the difference? What $35. Do you care? Nobody Oops, you care. Oh, crap. Here we go. We got to go. <laughs> 102.9 W4 Country. Blame it on you. That's Jason Aldean, 811, and the Breakfast with Bubba Show in the morning with Bubba and Madison Rally. Good morning. We have Brian Welch with the forecast. Pretty sunny. Highs in the upper 80s. All right. Nice summer day. We are here on a Monday with Dr. Marty. It's your Monday morning jump start. We're talking about uh, controlling anger. Uh, today, you can watch us on uh, W4 TV live right now. Yeah, Facebook.com slash W4 Country or YouTube.com slash W4 Country. All right, here are the tips so far. Number one, train calm. Number two, accept reality. Number three, watch out for hypocrisy. I, yep. love that. I am a Christian, but all of the, the Bible thumpers, watch out. Mm, the <laughs> judgment. Watch out. There's a lot more in that Bible about don't judge people mm. than it is about behavior. Mm. Yeah, but if you judge other people for judging, you're not really much better. I'm just pointing out well, what's in the Bible. Okay. 
Well, you don't want to condemn them is what it is, but we can discern, you know. Thank you, Marty. I'm discerning. It's your discerning morning. Yeah, but right you're here. also the person who's going to just <laughs> discern it into in your way. What's point number <laughs> four, Marty? Four uh, is a take a problem solving approach to your frustration. So when we get angry, it, it takes the frontal lobe. Uh, offline. And that's where we kind of plan and problem solve and uh, regulate our emotions. So you're not responsible for the first emotion. You know, you're going to get angry right away, um, but try to, uh, you know, get your frontal lobe activated, except, uh, and you do that with language. Like, okay, I'm feeling angry. Okay, I'm going to calm myself. Start talking to yourself like that. We, we have about 20 frustrations a day, some research shows, probably some people more. Right. So we're going to have to learn how to negotiate a reality that's going to give us stuff that we don't anticipate. And so then that's when we want to kind of pause and plan. So I feel like I have more than 20 frustrations. Yeah, we've had day, like Marty. 20 this morning. Yeah, well, as, I, as, I, as, I, as I said, some have more. Have some have fewer. <laughs> 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 no, yeah. Bye, whole wells. There's a lot going on. <laughs> There's been a lot going on this morning. She's I'm hair. getting attacked. She's frustrated oh. with her hair. So she yeah. wore a hat. I'm frustrated. Yeah. Wearing a hat. Yep. That's where it all started. Yep. See how we suffer. So more with Dr. Marty coming up in a moment. Well, she just sit over there and <laughs> do Yoda voice. And whatever <laughs> you're doing Let's find out what's going on in your drive to work a problem on here on road. <laughs> It's not on the road. It's the 275 around the road. Northbound, you're looking at slowdowns through that construction there. Um, it starts south of Sibley Road right now, actually. Uh, very slow moving all the way up, uh, just about to 94. On the southbound side, you're looking at very slow moving traffic right through 94. And then it looks like off and on right down through Sibley. Uh, it looks like 94 running pretty smoothly right now, though. No problems to report on 23. US 12, just a little heavier traffic right around 23 and between 94 and Wired Road. If you have a tip for us, 734-623-1029. That's the latest from the W4 Country Traffic Center. We got over three inches of rain in Dexter on uh, Friday. Thank you to uh, uh, Mrs. Reardon. She she had the uh, the rain gauge. Oh, between her and Wing Farms, it was between three and three and a quarter inches oh my in Dexter. So there's a there's a lot That's of rain. A lot of rain. went down uh, in Dexter. How's your roof? Is it doing okay, or did you have a leak? You know, if you have a leak, it's only going to get worse. Get diversified roofing on the case for you. They can repair or replace anything when it comes to roofs and let me tell you they are locally owned and operated and um it's hands-on with the owner stan the man is out to every job site to make sure it's being done up to his standards uh they've been in business for over 20 years so you know they're doing it right take it from me i got uh, my roof replaced it needed it and i have a 50-year warranty right now on my gaf shingles so i was set with those uh three inches of rain you need to be too. Go to diversifiedroofingllc.com. That's diversifiedroofingllc.com. And be sure to tell them Bubba sent you. All right. We're back. All right. Phyllis basically voiced my concern. What if my bag gets lost? I called you Reardon, not Risden, Phyllis. I'm sorry. Did you hear me go blank on the air? Yep. Yeah, nobody knew what you're talking about. What if your bag gets lost? Yeah. Is it attached to you? Which is better because I'm I'm a, a, a premier. You're not. <laughs> but what if it gets lost and then it gets diverted to your house instead of? It will get delivered your... to Italy. I don't know. I don't trust it. I don't trust you. Do they treat premier members' luggage better yes. than the average? Why? Why? Yes. We get priority handling. They put an orange tag on it. And it's a, it's the last on and first off. So we don't have to wait at the baggage belt. I don't like you. Last <laughs> I on. don't trust it. I don't so, like it. Nothing. Sounds like it could be a problem. It is ironic, isn't it? Lisa. What's the irony? Well, she says I do a great job with traffic. Thank you. And she says isn't it ironic that someone is message uh, on Facebook. They weren't messaging. They posted it on Facebook. It was a sub post because they didn't even call me out by name. And they were not even friends on Facebook either. Just posted. Do their we want, anger. Do we want to give that poster's name? No, because I'm not like them. All right. <laughs> High ground. I'm just going to continue to say High here road. Instead of South here on road. Or maybe I'll just omit it altogether. No, you can't omit People it. People still know what I'm... But, like, that's the thing, right? You still know what I'm saying. And if I did say something wrong, by all means, please message me. Don't subtweet me, though. Yeah. Subbook me. What do you call that? Uh, it's on Facebook and not Twitter. Subface. Subface. <laughs> I'm happy to correct things. 
if I've done them incorrectly. What happy humble. birthday, Glenn. It's Glenn. Oh, I thought it was. Oh, happy oh, birthday. You're Glenn. No. Oh, it's just another Glenn. No, happy birthday, Glenn. Glenn <laughs> oh, what a Glenn dumb old regular Glenn. Glenn Mutter. Oh, my goodness. Brittany, you've survived. She says, good morning, W4 Country. Can y'all give me a birthday shout out? I'm out at Faster Horses. Happy birthday. I'm glad you survived the weekend. Enjoy cleaning up and getting home today. <laughs> Who's, there's another birthday. Who was that? Glenn's birthday and Brittany's birthday. And Brittany, okay. Are you still typing about that post? No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy, I love that the, the theme today is talking about anger, <laughs> anger <laughs> management. So angry. And yeah, everybody's all worked yeah. up and <laughs> did today at one o'clock confirm Marty. Am I seeing you? Yes. Okay. Yeah. That slot actually sat open for a long time. That's amazing. That, that was that open for a happens. long, long time. Like what's a long time? Like indie last week. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. Like I didn't think I'd be able to um, as early as one because I have a McKenna thing today, but I can. Good. I'm glad. No, oh, that's weird because usually they fill up one o'clock though. People are you know, maybe not have flexibility. I don't know. Do you move out of the way so Brittany can see? McKenna. She's wondering how she's doing. She's doing just fine. Hi, McKenna. Curled up on like on her little bed over there. Hi, McKenna. <laughs> Megan says, Baba, how was working with the married couple? That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'll take it. Yeah. Right, one minute back. Gosh, you can just see our pile of creamer back there. We have a lot of creamer. You know what I've determined? I'm not a fan of the flavored creamer. Hmm. You're right. It makes my mouth taste weird. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what uh, one are you using? Yeah. What What's wrong with whipping cream? I like that. Oh, whipped cream is awesome. Yeah. Whipping cream, right? That like that heavy cream. Oh, like heavy really cream good. you put in your coffee? Oh yeah. That's so thick. Yeah. I like it too. Or how about salt? Do you ever salt your coffee? Yeah, I've salted coffee. Isn't it better to use that heavy whipping cream if you're like doing like a keto thing? Yeah, yeah, you can use that. Yep. Yeah. It doesn't raise your blood sugar. Brazilians salt their coffee. It takes the bitter mm -hmm. away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've tried that salt. before. I wasn't a big fan of it. You just have to, just a touch. Just that and some heavy whipping cream. <laughs> Not like you'd put sugar in. Just mm -hmm. yeah. right. <laughs> like four. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ten seconds. Yeah. Here we go. <clears throat> Jay Cohen made for you on one hundred two point nine W four Country. Your Monday morning jump start. We're getting ready to wrap it up with point number five with Dr. Marty talking about anger. What is your uh, fifth and final point today? Okay, hear me on this. Uh, you yeah. must give up the desire to punish. Okay, you don't have to be the sheriff. You don't have to be the judge and jury on other people or things. You know, doesn't do too much anyway um, to, to to remedy anything. So just you know, be tolerant of other people. Tolerant of yourself. He tuned down. No, no. I, yeah. <laughs> He's like, I don't do that. <laughs> no, my, I'm okay because like my current anger situation, mm -hmm. revenge is baked into it and I have nothing mm -hmm. to do with it. 
<laughs> mm -hmm. Very good. Because it involves crazy people. And yeah. just, well, okay. Just crazy with each other. Yeah. So look, um, if, if you're having trouble with that thing, because you feel like justice needs to be, you know, had, um, mm -hmm. people don't get away with anything and just watch, just see and ask yourself, have you really gotten away with anything? Even if you think you did, did you really pay a price for doing something wrong? People will pay. You don't have to do that job. I've been here 19 years. I feel like I'm getting mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a different story. Yeah, stick yeah. around. We got a bonus uh, from Dr. Marty coming up next. 102.9 W4 Country in the morning. All right. Excuse me. I have the hiccups. Mm -hmm. Call karma. That's right. They're reaping yeah. what you sow. <laughs> oh, hey! Someone wants me to be their president. That's I'd be terrible at well, that. No, job. not their, the president. <laughs> I mean, let's be clear. <laughs> <laughs> I would be terrible at that job. I'm. Who? I don't know who would want that job. I do. You'd want to be president? No, no I don't want the job. I know who would want to though. Oh, yeah. do you? Yeah. I would have zero desire. No, you have to be a bit nar um, narcissistic, I think. You know, most of the presidents are. Maybe Jimmy Carter wasn't. I don't know. But, um, you know, you got to uh, be motivated by power. Yeah, I think. Mm, got to be kind of cool. I mean, you got to do things in that job that most yeah, people aren't willing to the do. the office of the president to appeal to people who maybe you don't want leading an entire mm -hmm. world. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you can't. How do you survive a campaign? I mean, we're, we're we're vicious to those people too, you know. Oh yeah. I would never want to even go in a campaign. Oh God. Who could survive that? I mean, they dig out. We've all done embarrassing, stupid things. I mean, that's all going to come out and be publicized, and then a lot of lies things that you didn't do even right i had a member of a party ask if i would be interested in in stepping up into a position and running for office when i was done here and i said mm -hmm. absolutely not i got skeletons mm -hmm. in my closet and they're dancing naked with other skeletons <laughs> that's about right dancing naked they are that's kind of implied with this guy. When, people, when you think of a skeleton, you don't know, usually like they're in a, a tuxedo. Yeah. <laughs> you, the skeletons in your closet have skeletons in their closet. Yep. <laughs> in in closet, closet, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Infinite regress. I'm having sock issues this morning. I had sock issues yesterday. Bunchy. I had to keep taking my shoes off and readjusting my socks. My sock was like falling off my foot when I was driving to work mm -hmm. this morning. It was those new was beige socks me. from Amazon. I wonder if there's something wrong with them. They don't have holes in them. Well, <laughs> how do you get your foot in it then? <laughs> <laughs> that was a Welsh joke. You're corrupting me. Or am I improving your life? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> if it made you happy, yeah. I a good thing. Yeah. All right. Here we go. 102.9 W4 Country in the Eli Young Band, even if it breaks your heart. All right. We got a bonus for uh, getting control of anger. What is it, Marty? Yeah, this is a fact. Um, you do not control the universe. You must accept this. You do not control the universe. You cannot control another person. I can't control my kids even, you know, you think you're controlling them. You're not, uh, maybe you don't even think that, but yeah, you don't, um, you know, you got to give up that whole control. The acceptance is the, is the end game anyway, if you're going to have any peace. So you want to stop being demanding that the universe be different and that people be different in your image. Um, and then that will help you. Stop <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Hardy is here every single Monday at 7.40 with the Monday morning jump start. Uh, you could uh, visit him at drmartinfletcher.com, the Shepherd and the Shrink podcast as well. Marty, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. I will see you at 1 o'clock today. All right, see you and, then. Uh, God bless. We'll, we'll talk to you next uh, next week on the – no, we uh, won't. Next week, no no jump start. Okay. I'm in Italy, so I'll, in two weeks. Okay, have fun.
See you later. All righty. Oh, oh bye. So I guess we're leaving. Goodbye. <laughs> bye, everybody.